Okay, so I've transferred my image using the um, transfer method where you put the white chalk on the back and then flip the paper over and go over the outline. So we just have a very basic, um, simple drawing. And I'm gonna start in with my pen pastels and I'm just gonna start in, going in with um, my red, um, my red pan pastel. Now our background's gonna be black. We're not gonna put that in right away. We're just gonna kind of map in our apple. I'm gonna go around some of these spots for now so that I don't lose direction where I'm going. We will um, put the details in with the Carbothello pencils. You wanna make sure that you're blending it out as you go. I'm using the soft tools that come with the pan pastels. If you don't have pan pastels, you can use uh, pastel sticks like this one, or you can use uh, all the Carbothellos, but the pencils are so expensive that um, you can really cover a lot of area with this pan pastel, not only quickly, but uh, you don't use a lot of material. You can wear down your pencils pretty quick when you're just using the Carbothellos for the whole piece. So we're gonna blend this whole bottom part in with the black background. So I'm just bringing that red down a little bit because we do want a little bit of that to show through the black that we're putting on. We're actually gonna smudge the black up into um, the red of the apple. And we're gonna put more little water drops on top over here as well. But if I cover the whole thing in red right this second, I'm going to kind of lose where those water drops, the big water drops are. Not so much worried about the tiny ones because we're gonna add those in. The whole key to pastels is really all the blending. So we just want to get a good little base layer going down. It makes it easier to blend when you have a light base coat first. And then uh, it's a lot easier to smush the colors into each other when you have some material down on the paper. So I'm probably gonna blend over where these water spots are, but I want to just give myself a little map of where they're kind of going to be um, before I start blending in that way. I kind of know what's going on. But I'm probably gonna cover over them anyway. There's gonna be a lot of colors of red on here. So like I said, we're just getting a little base coat down. And don't worry if your outline isn't perfect because we're gonna refine that when we put in the black background. Go in a little bit with my 
uh, Kohenor soft pastels. You can use the Carbothellos, whatever you like. I use a combination just because I like um, the softness of the Kohenor pastel. I find it blends really easily. It's easy to put down. Now this part of the apple has um, the kind of a little yellowish line to it. Like little details on here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in. We're gonna blend it out. And then this side of the apple is a little more orangey. Look, we're just color mapping now, so we're just trying to get the basic um, tones of what's going to be in the finished piece. And then we have a little bit of yellow here as well. We're going to have a big bright highlight right here. So we're going to put in all our details with the um, with the pencils. So now I'm using the um, it's Prismacolor uh, pastel color sticks. I have a set of 96. You don't need 96, but. Go big or go home. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna blend out some of this red so we can start blending in for all the colors. So blending this in nice and smooth. You can use this. Um, little makeup sponge. You can use Q-tips. You can use your finger um, or the uh, Pam Pastel, the soft tools from the Pam Pastel. We're going to go over most of these water spots, but I just kind of want to get a feel for where they're, where they are. Now I'm going to go in with some brown and I'm just going to define this little line here. Where the apple, there's a, there's a shadow where the apple goes in. And we're going to map in our stem. And like I said, all this is just really rough right now. I'm just trying to get a a little road map going on. So we just have a base color of this brown and then there's a shadow. from the stem that goes here. And we'll redefine all that in a second. So there's these water droplets on the apple. We're just gonna make sure it's one of them. Alright, 
So now the top of the apple and this side is a little more orangey. So we're just going to add that in here. The beauty of pastels is that you can put light over dark, dark over light. Um, but things that you want really white, you should kind of get in from the beginning because it will be a little bit muddier if you try to put them in later on. So we're going to add in, um, we have a big water drop here, so we're going to add in our, our bright highlight. And I'm looking at my reference image. I have it on an iPod, an iPad rather, right in front of me. So I'm constantly looking up at my reference image as I'm drawing. And it's really helpful to have that. If you don't have an iPad or your phone or something that you can uh, keep in front of you, um, you can print it out printed out um, the same size as your drawing and this will make it easier um, so you don't get lost you can kind of see where things are a little bit better so the rest of the video I'm gonna speed up but you can see from the beginning how the whole thing starts and how the layering process begins everything is done best when layered and you're gonna just keep going and add more and more layers as you go. I'm brightening up the apple a little bit in some of these spots and we're gonna blend in that black background with the bottom of the apple. So enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you on the next one.